Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, the organizer, for uh, this uh, wonderful occasion. So, um, my topic will be neurological effects of spike protein. Let's take a look about uh, spike protein and its structure. Spike protein has two chains represented in the molecular surface S1, this colored in green, with a red portion which serve to interact with ACE receptor to infect the cell. The S2 chain, which contains the part of molecular, molecular necessary for the virus to enter in the cell, is colored in yellow. But uh, I would like you put attention uh, to the glycine zipper spikes, contains uh, six uh, glycine zipper that are characteristic signature of prions. Please remember these details because it will be useful to better understand the pathophysiology of spike protein in the brain. Let's take a look um, to a big picture. The MRI vaccine contains the genetic code to make spike protein. The messenger RNA is incorporated into lipid particles that simulate low-density lipoprotein particles. Um, the genetic sequence of messenger RNA is modified to be similar to human messenger RNA, like a Trojan horse. So the humanized MRI and messenger RNA is a state entry system for massive production to, of spike protein. Immune cells in the spleen release a large quantities of spike protein displayed on the surface of exosome. And this exosome dispersed through the body. They travel to the brain to deliver toxic prion-like spike protein to the neurons through two pathways, olfactory system and vagus nerve. That is crucial to transport the prion like protein into the brain. Uh, as consequence of this nerve invasion, will have an inflammatory response in the brain, inducing neurological damage. But spike protein as we saw before, contains glycine zipper sequ sequences that together with some, in uh, some cellular condition can promote the conversion of uh, bodily protein in their pathological prion conformation. And the cellular condition that promote misfolding, including piac acid and uh, inflammatory uh, high expression of inflammatory cytokines, such as interleukin-1, interleukin-6, tumor necrosis factor, and both that are evoked by uh, spike protein in the brain. But uh, let's take a look at what's happened in uh, uh, pathology. Uh, COVID-19, also the infection, is a perfect storm for Parkinson's disease. I just remember you that Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder associated to levy body deposits uh, in the brain. And the main protein found in this levy body is alpha-synuclein, like you can see in a red. That protein, alpha-synuclein, is a prion-like protein that under certain conditions, um, it can aggregate in a toxic fibrils, oligomers. The cellular condition that promote misfolding, including piac acid and high expression of inflammatory cytokines evoked by spikes. It's clear that uh, uh, vagus nerve is critical in transport of a mi and misfold uh, of a misfold alpha alpha synuclein oligomers in the brain, and another pathway is uh, olfactory nerve. The same things happened as we saw with the vaccine. 
and uh, the loss of sense of smell is an early sign of Parkinson's disease and ominously diminution or loss um, of the sense of smell is also a common symptom of SARS-CoV-19 infection. An inflammatory response evoked by spike upregulates the scientists of alpha-synuclein, alpha increasing the risk of prion information. So, spike protein is a, a prion-like protein. We remember, contains always six glycine zipper, a characteristic signature of prions. And spike act like a crystal to induce misfolding of susceptible human protein, such as as alpha synuclein, as we can, um, as we saw in Parkinson's disease, but also beta amyloid, that is a responsible of Alzheimer's disease. This leads to the formation of oligomers and fibrils that underline most of their degenerative disease in a range from Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and last but not least, Kreutzfeldt-Jakob Jacob disease. Here is a, a personal series of different neurological and uh, neurodegenerative diseases. What they have in common? I have uh, the two um, myelated transversers, three cases of um, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and 34 cases of a multiple sclerosis in previous healthy people, young people. And uh, they started uh, after, what do they have in common? They started after a few weeks after a second dose of messenger RNA vaccine. Uh, why, this, why this happened? Maybe because it's, um, there are uh, published data that uh, shows that RNA sequence in a vaccine contains uh, sequences believed that to induce new protein to aggregate in their prion-based conformation, leading to development of a common degenerative disease. Prions are responsible of neurodegenerative disease such as Alzheimer's disease, Kreutzfeldt-Jakob, and SLA. Uh, on the other hand, it is well recognized that people without previous neurological disease in COVID-19 infection can cause a wide range of neurological complications affecting both the central and peripheral nervous system, including case of a new onset multiple sclerosis following COVID infection. Here we report 34 cases um, of individuals who received MRI vaccine within a, a few weeks of a second dose, they develop new neurological symptoms. And as you can see, MRI findings consistent with active demineralization. Most of these patients respond to the corticosteroid or also uh, immunotherapy. But uh, what we happen, a further explanation of neuroinflammation leading also to multiple sclerosis is provided by this paper. The researcher obtained um, results from this experiment that provide the first evidence demonstrating the activation of microglia by SARS-CoV-2 spike subunit S1 protein, resulting in producing of pro-inflammatory mediators such such as tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin 1, interleukin 6, and also the um, nitroxid acid. We know uh, perfectly that um, during the neuroinflammation, microglia and, uh, that produce cytokines and reactive oxygen species play a significant role in many neurological and also neuropsychiatric disorders. High level of nitric oxide are, has been previously linked to a wide range of uh, neurological disorder, including Alzheimer, Parkinson, multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, and migraine. Next slide. 
um, this is a, a case of, of a crazy school Jacob. In my life, before the vaccine, I just saw in the last 20 years just one case of crazy school Jacob. Now I have two cases following a few, a few weeks after a vac MRI vaccine. Prion disease, we know this is a collection of neurodegenerative disease um, that uh, form toxic oligomers that causing damage to neurons very, very rapidly. Uh, and they are always, always fatal. Researchers have identified a signature motif linked to the susceptibility to misfolding into toxic oligomer, colored glycine zipper motif. The bovine prion linked to bovine spongiform encephalopathy has a spectacular sequences of 10 glycine zipper motif. And, uh, the um, spike protein are as four. Um, so we can speculate that spike protein could be have a role in this way. Here is a, um, a case of a bovine spongiform encephalopathy with is related electroencephalographic pattern. And a, pap a paper published by Klassen in 2021 proposed that spike protein uh, and support this idea in MRI vaccine could case prion like disease, in part through to bind my new protein and use their misfolding in potential prions. Depression. I, I saw 20 depression cases. Uh, we could uh, make attention to speak about depression or depressive syndrome. It's a deflection of mood tone associated with symptom, affective emotive symptom, neurovegetative symptoms such as sleep disorder, eating disorder, and weight loss, and cognitive deficit. But why we should have depression in COVID or after vaccine? Because pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin uh, 1, 6, a tumor necrosis factor are also be linked to depression like behavior and cognitive deficit. The most, uh, um, we uh, also have um, psychosis uh, associated to COVID-19, and the most important sign of symptom of psychosis was delusion, following by hallucination. Auditory hallucination were most common form hallucination, followed by visual and tactile. Mania and uh, depression was reported to in 8% of cases by the authors. Here, all the neurological effect by uh, virus. Virus is the official site to collect side effect from vaccine. This is update to tw uh, 24 March. Uh, it's a passive observation, so it's not perfect, but it's the best that we have. And there is uh, much evidence from virus that messenger RNA vaccine causing neurodegenerative disease, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and crestful Jacob. The so, coming to the summary, MRI vaccines are craft crafted to produce a large quantities of a spike protein, SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, that is neurotoxic and has prion-like characteristics for the presence of a glycine zipper group, the spike causes also an inflammatory response in the brain by activation of macroglia with uh, overproduction of interleukin 1, 6 and tumor necrosis factor that lead to misfolding of bodily protein in their pathological prion form. And there is much evidence from virus of MRI the vaccine causing neurodegenerative disease including Alzheimer's Parkinson's La and Crestful Jacob disease that previously were extremely rare. So it's not possible not make correlation. All COVID vaccine contain spike protein can cause in the next future a prion disease. So the cure could be in this case worse than the disease and in my opinion it should be stopped. 
in a memory uh, of an extraordinary man and scientist, a true friend of humanity that's always stand for justice and through. And his example will survive with all of us. Thank you for your time. Yeah, so thank you, Rosanna. Dr. Kifari, my understanding is that uh, Dr. Montagnier also shared your concerns I, yes, about these effects. Absolutely. He was certain before his uh, release uh, uh, already a year ago, an interview in which he confirmed this concern and the possibility uh, of the spike protein made uh, from, um, by MRI vaccine to give uh, uh, prions um, disease. And, and you know, that's good. we know uh, recently that the most of uh, the neurodegenerative disease are prion disease. And spike protein act to promote this um, misfolding in a pathological form of prions. So it should be stopped. It should be stopped. Thank you so much for an excellent presentation. Thank you.